Do you want to promote your Shopify based products on Snapchat ads? Well, then this video has you covered because today I will show you step by step all of the things that you will have to know to actually promote your stuff on Snapchat. Now, Snapchat is a pretty good alternative to TikTok, Facebook and so on because the overall ad spend on Snapchat is actually quite low. Meaning that on Snapchat you can actually get started with a relatively low budget comparing it to the other providers. Of course, you will still have to spend some money to get data and so on but more on that later on. Let's now actually head over to our Shopify dashboard. If you don't already have a Shopify store as always I will leave you a link for a free trial down below. Either way once we are right here the first thing that we will have to do is to actually open up the settings on the bottom left and then open up the apps and sales channels and open up the Shopify app store. This is all which we will have to do for now on Shopify because later on we will have to install a snapshot pixel which is going to allow us to accurately track all of the data which we are going to need to actually optimize our ads. But either way, let's now get started by heading over to Snapchat ads. As you can see, Snapchat basically states that you can reach Gen Z and millennials with Snapchat ads. And actually this is a pretty true statement. Over 90% of the 13 and 24 year olds do actually use Snapchat. So let's get started with this. Now right here, we will then have to put in all of the basic stuff like the business name, email, password and birthday. Click on next. And then we will have to create our profile. We will have to first of all set a username and then also a website which actually is optional but I would recommend you to actually tick this and you can then actually also import all of the brand assets which is going to basically help you later on. But for now I'm just going to put in my username and as for the website I'm actually going to leave this out as I'm just going to use an example Shopify product right here. But for you guys please make sure to actually put in your website right here and let's now actually create our account and let's create our profile. Ah, okay, okay, okay. We can then add our profile photo and our bio. So I'm just going to add a small call to action, which is going to say, get your purse glow right now for a discount. This is just a random example. And let's now actually click on confirm and let's continue with the business detail. So right here, we will have to put in the actual uh, country where we are going to be from. In my case, this would be Austria, but you guys can actually just choose United States or United Kingdom or wherever you live right here. And you can then actually also put in your tax ID to actually accurately track all of the expenses. But I'm not going to do this right now as this is just an example. And let's click on next. And this should now actually redirect us to the Snapchat ads manager. And yeah, right here, as you can see, we are basically going to have two different ways of running ads on Snapchat. Now, first of all, we do have the instant create function and then also the advanced create function. Now, the instant create function is basically going to create a single ad and this is basically going to be the easier option. Whereas on advanced create, you can actually create multiple ad sets and this would be the more advanced option. Now, I'm going to get started out by using the advanced create option because this is going to give me full control over everything. And also with this, we can set up a B split tests for different kind of ad campaigns and for different kind of ad creatives which will then actually help us to lower our ad spend and which can actually help with the overall profitability of your ad. So let's click on here and let's now actually choose the objective. For us in this case this would be sales and then we will have to click on next and now this is going to give us the option to build our campaign. Now before we are going to dive into that right now let's now open up the other tab which we have created beforehand the Shopify app store and right here let's look for snapchat and then we can actually select the snapchat ads app right here this is the official app from snapchat so make sure to just install this and this will then once again allow us to actually set up a pixel for this and this pixel is going to help us to actually see which click has came from the ad which conversion has came from the ad and this will allow us to more accurately track everything so first of all we will have to connect our snapchat account this usually should ma basically automatically connect this so right here as you can see this is the right account so let's for now head back to snapchat and let's go for a campaign name in this case i'm just going to name this purse glow campaign 
one we can then actually also select if we do want to have dynamic ads so these are going to be uh, automatically built ads which i wouldn't recommend you to select i think this in most cases is going to be garbage so let's now actually just get or continue with this and right here on the create split test i will actually enable this and i will set the test variable as a creative meaning that when actually selecting this we can split test the creatives to see which one is going to convert better Let's now click on next right here on the bottom right and let's now actually go over the test details. So right here as you can see we can then create a pixel to drive and track conversions for our site. And now we have successfully connected our Shopify store onto Snapchat ads. Now please note that although this right now does say we haven't received any events this is going to work later on. If you however have any problems with the overall setup of your pixel please note that under the snapchat business settings right here you can also find the shopify pixel right here and the pixel id which can also help you with the further setup but for us we are right now done with the pixel setup and let's now head over to the goal and bit settings now as for the performance goal we are going to maximize on the number of landing page views. I think this one is going to work the best. Sadly, Snapchat doesn't have an option for actual conversions, so we will have to work with this option. And then as for the bit, please make sure to just leave this at auto bit. Most of the time, Snapchat does actually knows best how much to actually bid for your ad. Now, as for budget and schedule, um, I would recommend you to set up uh, something between 30 to 50 bucks per day and this will help you to actually get a lot of data relatively fast while also not overspending at the start so i'm simply just going to leave this at 30 bucks we can actually also set a lifetime budget which i wouldn't recommend you to do make sure to just leave this at daily budget and you can set the start and you can actually also set the end date right here as for the placements, you can either just select automatic placements or you can actually also edit the placement. So in this case, you can then select, okay, should this only be shown under the spotlight feature, under the user stories, publisher and creator stories and so on. Now, what I've came to the conclusion, uh, at least from my own ad creatives, I think the overall conversion rate is relatively the same on all of the features. However, make sure to actually also split test this for your own product. Now in this case I'm just going to leave this at automatic placement and as for the brand safety filter let's just leave this at full inventory and as for the location this is basically going to come down where you do want to promote your product you can for example also add the United Kingdom right here or the United States and if you are going to promote in the US for example you can actually also target individual states if this is something which you're looking for or you can actually also exclude these states if you are going to uh, for example sell your product on the whole US but um, you can sell on in Texas for example because of logistic issues then you could hypothetically exclude that state right here as for the demographics once again i would recommend you to just leave this uh, as it is make sure that snapchat has full control over everything however as for gender obviously if you are going to have a female orientated product make sure make sure to select that right here and same goes for male language i'm going to leave at english for now or actually as i think yeah, wait, let's actually change the, let's delete Austria from this and let's now actually leave this at English. Audience, we can also leave this as the default. Devices also, this doesn't really matter too much. Only thing which I would recommend you to untick is the web function because I don't really know anyone using the Snapchat web function. So let's just skip this. And as for the delivery, we can actually also select double verify if we want to. But in most cases, this is pretty useful. This is just for further, um, basically, statistics now let's just click on next for now and let's now actually get to the actual ad part now with that being said you can of course also record all of the ads on your own but especially at the start when testing out new ad creatives i would actually recommend you to get done for your ads and you can do so by using one of the long-term partners of this channel viral ecomads now viral ecomads actually worked with quite a lot of big names in the industry like sebastian Giorgio, the ecom king and a lot more and essentially they already have generated over 30 million dollars in sales for their customers and they have created over 100 thousand ad creatives so rest assured you are going to get proven to convert ad creatives with viral ecomats now one other thing which i want to highlight is their vip membership plan especially if you are testing out a lot of products this in my opinion is a no-brainer because 
this will essentially give you 75% off all video and image ads, 30% off all UGC ads and a 24 hour delivery and revisions, which is mind blowing in my opinion. Although to be fair, the normal delivery rates on viral e are already pretty good, but this will actually give you quite a lot of bang for your buck, given that this is only going to cost $50 per month. But either way, under the packages, you're then going to, for example, have video ad packages or AI UGC ad packages. And what I really like that is that viral commerce right away is also going to give you guys split testing ad packages. So in this case, we can just use the TikTok split testing ad package because it's basically the same for Snapchat. So let's just open this up. As you can see, you can get one package for either 20 bucks if you are a VIP member or if you are a non-member, 85 bucks. However, you can actually save an additional 15% off with the code Krause or Elias, so make sure to test them. And we actually do have some example ads from Viral Ecomads for the exact product which we are going to set up. So let's I quickly can't watch this. How much this little light has changed my life. The first glow is compact, touch activated, and automatically turns off after 12 seconds. Perfect for finding keys or lipstick in my bag, and it doubles as a nightlight. Get yours today and never lose anything in the dark again. So I think this ad is actually pretty good and you can't you almost can't tell that this is AI generated. So either way, I will leave you a link to viral e-commerce down below. Make sure to check them out if you want to. Let's now head back to our Snapchat ads manager and let's give our ad a name. In this case, I'm going to name this shop your purse flow right now. I will copy this as for the headline and as for the shareable, I will actually enable this so that people can actually share this ad with their friends. Maybe they are going to see it and they are going to tell, hey, make sure to purchase this. I've already made an order. So make sure to just enable this. We can then actually also add a call to action onto this. So in this case, I'm going to change this to, let's see if they do have something like shop now or let, let's actually change this to order now. I think this does fit the overall vibe way better. As for the ad favoriting, we can enable this and we can actually also switch to the standard button color if we want to, but I'm, do, I'm going to leave it at yellow so that this kind of is going to be more visible. As for the website URL, please make sure to use a professional domain for this, not like me. I'm just building this up as an example, so it doesn't really matter too much as I'm not going to actually launch this ad. And once you've set all of the stuff inside right here, you can then actually also create the second ad right here, the second ad creative, which you can then use to split test maybe the headline or split test the whole ad creative. Once again, with viral e ads, you're going to get multiple ads, which you can all use to split test. So I would recommend you to do something similar like this. Either way, once you are now done, you can actually review and publish your campaign. And then you can basically start promoting your Shopify products on Snapchat. I hope this video was helpful. Full. make sure to check out viral e-commerce with the link down below and that's it for now i will see you in the next one